What's up, everybody? It's Jack and Dan. What do we got today here, dude? We got these Dr. Prager Oatmeal Littles. Yeah, we got these little Dr. Prager Littles. We talked about Dr. Prager a lot. They make a lot of really awesome stuff. They've got these little dinosaur oatmeal Littles, basically made for kids, right? What yeah. do you got over there? We got the little chocolate chip ones, shaped like a little dude, and then we got the blue little teddy bear. Ones. We got the blueberry star, star yeah. right? Well, the reason that we're interested in these, we talk about Dr. Prager's a lot. They do have a lot, a lot of plant-based options. These are all vegan. They're also all gluten-free, right? Very, very, very good, very healthy. Now, here's the thing, guys. There's only a dozen of these tiny little things in each one of these boxes that cost $3.99. But, like always, we were at the store looking around. It was buy two, get one free. So, for eight bucks, we got three boxes of these. Okay, we haven't talked much about this new guy over here, but we got a new oven... Uh, toaster oven slash air fryer, right? Yes. We got this from uh, Costco. Had a little deal. Caloric. We are not going to use the air fryer setting. We're afraid it's going to dry them yeah, out, it'd right? Yeah, dry them out. Probably wouldn't be as chewy as it should be. We want them to be yeah, kind of moist. We want them to be cookie-ish. Yeah. It says to cook them at 425 in the oven, flip them over, six minutes each side. We don't have to do that because we've got the suspended basket, right? So here they all are. They're in the basket. And since it's going to be hanging, you know, it's going to get the heat from the top and bottom. So we're going to try 425 in the basket. Not going to put on the fan for the air fryer. 425. We're warming that up. We had two little soles here that didn't fit. So they're going to be on this stone separately. Now, nutritionally, here's the deal. Like we said, they're all plant-based. They're all oatmeal. They're all gluten-free. Now, here's the deal. And if you've never looked up Dr. Prager's, I mean, we'll put a link in the description for these. Really cool. Would we... Now, honestly, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of little dudes right there. I'd probably finish, like, this in a sitting. <laughs> right. I mean, you could easily eat a box. I mean, the whole box is, like, 600 calories. That's not that much after working out. That's, you know... We had a little pre-breakfast. We like to eat something, and then we go to the gym, and then this is like our after-workout kind of breakfast yeah, on a Saturday. Yeah, pre-breakfast to give you the energy, and then a nice, scrumptious breakfast afterwards. Yeah. And so what we did is we looked at the information. And quite honestly, the three different flavors, the blueberry, chocolate chip, and regular are pretty similar. The blueberry is actually the best. It has one less gram of sugar. So what you get when you eat one is two in a serving size. So in each one of these, you get about seven and a half grams of fiber, one and a half grams of fiber, one and a half grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And about, you know... 1.75 grams of fat, only a quarter of a gram is saturated, and that's because they use some cocoa butter and stuff like that. Um, you know what? It's pretty cool. I mean, there's cinnamon, there's amaranth flour, teff flour, flaxseed meal. I mean, that's pretty good to know that a lot of the fat in there is actually omega-3 fat. And uh, again, a lot of fiber. And of course, we talk about a five-to-one rule, don't we? Yes. We want one-fifth of our carbs to be fiber, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. The 5 to 1 rule, very important, guys. So these, I think, for 8 bucks. I mean, honestly, if you had 3 or 4 kids for 8 bucks, if you were to buy these on this deal, that would be breakfast. I mean, pretty amazing. Now, I would probably do something like put a little peanut butter on them or dunk them in some chocolate hummus or some almond butter. I mean, I would probably add a little more protein and fiber yeah. by doing something like that. I definitely wouldn't put syrup or any of that nonsense yeah, no, on it. Yeah, this is probably just going to taste like cookies as it is. So maybe right. you can put some on them if you want. We're just going to eat plain. We're just going to try them plain. I think the uh, blueberry ones are going to be the best. And again, they are the healthiest. I think the chocolate chip ones are going to be the best. Yeah, they're going to be good. I mean, quite honestly, nutritionally, not a huge difference. But of course, the blueberries have antioxidants yeah, and a little more fiber. So, hey, you know, not bad for a quick kind of thing. If you could put these in a toaster oven for, you know, 12 minutes, if you had a bunch of kids and they could just grab them on the way out or whatever. So let's pop these babies in. Let's see what uh, see what they taste like. Okay, we took these two out. I got the Stegosaurus. Jack's got the little... Teddy bear. I don't know. Is that a teddy bear? I think so. We took them out of 12 minutes, these two that were on here. We're going to give them a little shot here real quick. What do you think? Give it a try. See, see where we're at. Snap, see if we need longer. Snap, snap. Holy mackerel. Look at all the chocolate Whoa. chips in that one. Dude, it's, it, it's kind of neat. It's like a freshly baked little oatmeal it's a cookie. breakfast bar. I mean, it's kind of like a cookie. Not as sweet, though. It doesn't really have sweetness. No, but it doesn't really... It kind of looks like meat when you bite into it. It's like... It is weird because it looks like their little chicken nuggets look. Yeah. But it's oatmeal. It's not... Oh, that's strange. 
It's not real syrupy or sweet, and it's not dry. Wow. Yeah, that chocolate chip one is good. Jack digs it, huh? That's delicious. Dude, we're going to pound this whole thing probably. Yeah. We're going to let these go another couple of minutes just to kind of get a little more, see if we can get them crispy a little bit. That's exactly how it looked to be. Yeah, I, I'm shocked. Those are good. I thought even, I thought they were like cookies. I thought they were oatmeal curds. I mean, they are, but they just, they're so soft and chewy and warm. They're very good. Delicious. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start off with about three on each one. We noticed these little chunks in here. And it looks like those are like little chunks of apple, huh? Yes, it's like a mini apple pie. <laughs> Oatmeal apple pie. All right, we got a little coffee. Let's go try these other ones out, man. I'm excited. All right, so you got a little bit of uh, coffee in your awesome Alaska cup there. We got that from Kwood Alaska. We'll put a link in the description for Rod's channel. Awesome guy. He gave us that big old, those big yeah, old mugs. Thank you for sending me these mugs. Yeah, we use them all the time, Rod. They're amazing. We love them. We gave Rod a shout out quite a few times uh, when we use his mugs. What, a, what an awesome thing. Awesome channel. He would probably love these. So the other flavors are really good too. The oh, blueberry is amazing. Huge blueberries. Huge blueberries in there, right? Apple chunks in the other ones. These are totally awesome, guys. I mean, wow. I got my Spoiled Fish mug from Roy at Spoiled Fish, one of the first people we ever connected with on YouTube. Awesome channel. We'll put a link in the description for him too. You know, I think for overall, these are not bad. I think the fact that we got... Three boxes for eight bucks is obviously a great deal. That's like 33% off, you know, 35% off. Um, obviously, this isn't something you want to necessarily give your kids every day. No. Yeah. I mean, as opposed to having a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin, yes, well, this yeah. is better. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't have saturated fat. Yeah, but, or cholesterol, yeah. and it has fiber and all that. Like little teddy bears. But at the end of the day, of course, they make them in little kid shapes. They would be attracted to them. If your kids don't want to eat a bowl of oatmeal for 25 cents, you could definitely give them, you know, six of these for two bucks. For the sale we got them for, it's about a buck 25 or so. Not bad. I mean, if you got picky kids that want to do this kind of thing, Jack's dunking them in the old uh, coffee there, huh? We put soy milk in our coffee, of course. Give us a little extra protein. So these are definitely a winner. I think Pamela is going to love these. We left her some. She's at the gym with some of her clients this morning. On Saturday, she'll probably come home and smash the rest. She's, she's definitely not going to like the sugar content, so she'll probably only have a few, but I think it's a good thing. She'll probably recommend to some of her clients, as we would too for kids. Again, not necessarily every day, but hey. These are good guys. They're really awesome. We're very impressed with them. We're very impressed with the sale. We'll put a link in the description. If you've not checked out Dr. Preggers before, definitely check them out. Uh, they got a lot of great stuff. And when we see them on sale, we buy them and we try them. And quite often we enjoy them. They're very good. So, hey, guys, check it out. Have an awesome Wellness Wednesday. Try to eat super healthy food because that's what it's all about. And little things like this that can help you kind of cross over and try new things are a great idea. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye. little piece for Lacey here. Got the little guy's head. She's been a good girl, huh? You want to try a little piece of oatmeal muffin? Mmm. That's good, huh? Endorsed by Jack and Dan and Lacey the Mighty Dachshund, huh? Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff, huh? <laughs> good girl, good girl.